Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're going to do something just a little bit different and we're actually going to set this computer up from scratch and show you what plugs into where and how to get it going. One of my friends needed a new computer because she's starting a new course and her old Mac just wasn't going to cut it. So it was time for a new PC. I built the machine, got it all set up, but because of the COVID-19 restrictions in Victoria at the moment, I can't actually go there, deliver it and set it up like I normally would. So this is an instructional video for her, but useful for everyone on how to get a PC set up and running and what plugs in where. This is what all the bits look like when they're laid out together, just so that you know you've got everything and that it's all there. So what is everything? This is the box the actual computer comes in. It's not in here, it's a fair bit heavier than it looks. This bit is the actual box. The guts of the computer, the box, the CPU, the brain, whatever you want to call it. This box is the box the actual motherboard of the computer came in and has a bunch of little bits and pieces. It's just a useful size box to keep all the little bits in. Software, that sort of thing. Very important, the power cord. In this case, we also have a separate webcam, which fits in that box. And we have a set of speakers. There's also the keyboard and mouse set and the screen. Step one is to get the machine out of the box and get it set up on your desk. Now in this case I've got it sitting backwards so that we can see the ports and know where everything needs to go to be plugged in. A couple of notes about location. Make sure the box for the computer is on the desk somewhere, not on the floor. Uh, I've seen too many places get flooded and computers die because they're sitting in this much water, it's not good for them. Have it up off the floor. Most computer desks allow for something like that. If not, worst case scenario, put it on a few books or bricks or something just to get it off the floor. It doesn't get kicked and it won't get wet. Out of this motherboard box, we'll need the power cable and we might as well get the webcam out at the same time. Power cable simply plugs into the back at the top and then down into your PowerPoint. Next step is the monitor. Once you open this up, you'll find a power cable and a HDMI cable. Power cable goes into the monitor and then into the wall. The HDMI cable will go into the back of the monitor and then into this HDMI port right here on the computer. The last part of the basic setup is your keyboard and mouse. Get them out of the box, set up on your desk, and plug them into usually the two USB ports right at the very top of the machine. These are USB 2 ports, so they're slower, which is fine for a keyboard and mouse. I've pre-installed the USB wireless card. It's this little fella here, and I've just got it sitting in that bottom USB port so that as soon as the machine's plugged in, it should be ready to go and connect to your Wi-Fi or NBN connection. Once the computer and the monitor are all set up, you can get the webcam out. It sits usually on top of the screen and just has a single USB cable that you can plug into one of the blue USB ports on the back. A simple set of speakers. These speakers get their power from the USB port, so that's another USB plug that needs to go in. And then the other cable comes out and plugs into the green audio socket on the back of the PC, which is where your audio comes from. At this point, everything is basically set up and your machine's ready to go. Simply turn it on with the power button and probably a power button on the screen as well. And hopefully you'll be sitting and ready in Windows, ready and waiting to go. The first thing I'd be doing is clicking on the Wi-Fi icon or the network icon down the bottom right corner of the screen, finding your Wi-Fi network, putting in the password, same as you would for your phone, and now you should be connected to the internet. At this point, we're basically done. The last step would be to unbox the printer and get it all set up and running, but I'm not actually gonna go through that step by step because I don't wanna do it because I'd then only have to pack it all back up again to ship it. It will have two cables in it, one USB cable that'll run from the printer to the computer again, and another from the printer to a PowerPoint. So you'll end up with three things plugged into the PowerPoint, the computer itself, the screen, and the printer. Everything else gets its power from the computer. 
There's also two further USB ports on the front of the computer so you can st stick a memory stick in or something like that if you need to. Or if you're actually finding your Wi-Fi reception isn't that great, you may want to move the Wi-Fi from the back of the computer to the front if that gets it a little bit closer and without all of that intervening metal and electronics. Well, that was a really quick whip through, but I hope it was useful for you if you have to set up or move a computer. Question of the day. Have you managed to get your own computer set up and running? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this was useful, give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it if something goes wrong. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click on the subscribe button down here and then the bell icon, you'll be notified of all the new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.